What's up guys, Chris here with another Main to Max, and we're starting off here with 75 cooking. Um, we just decided to do some cooking just to get the levels up, we need 99 eventually, so it's a nice quick AFK skill, we've got 76 there. Um, there wasn't any reason for being any banks, I just went to different ones randomly. Uh, we've got 77 there, so we started off with wines just to get the high levels quickly, so 78, um, because I don't really want to be burning anything, so 79, so I thought it's just as my... Um, may, but may as well use the wines. 80 cooking as well. So now we can actually cook sharks, so that's good, but I probably won't start doing that till we can not burn them. We got 81 cooking, and as you can see, it's a phoenix out. I wish I had that. 82 cooking after that. And then we can do sea turtles, which I'm guessing I won't do. Uh, we got 83, and then we start on the swordfish. I decided to do the mass clue in the bank, and we got a mimic, so that's interesting. So it's the first time I think I killed the mimic, oh no, second time I killed the mimic. We open it and the reward is pretty rubbish, but at least we got 25 Ranar weeds as the reward for killing it, so that's not too bad. I can't remember if it was this one or the other one I died in. We got a mystery box, do we get the baguette? No, we got a casket, but we could get something in the casket maybe? A sapphire, that's not too bad. Um, and then decided to do some slayers, so I've got a superior there, still nothing from them. Haven't had any uh, superior drops yet, so that would be good to get. I've got another one on this task as well. And again, nothing, nothing even of value there. And another kill, and again, nothing. But we got another ruby for the collection. Decided to do some uh, Nightmare Zone, and we got 88 strength from it, I think that's it. I then came here just to see what it was like. I'd sold my bank, so I didn't really have anything, but I got an 86 attack there. Um, I wouldn't know I wasn't doing it right, but I thought I'd just give it a go. I killed another superior there, nothing except for a Rana. Uh, we then went to... Um, Hespori just to do that. I haven't really done that very regularly because I've already got the uh, bucket, but I've got 20 something seeds in the bank, so I probably should keep doing it. We got some Avento seeds, so not the worst, but nowhere near the best. I then went to Winter Todd with Twilight again. Uh, we did, I think, five crates, so here's the loot from it. Nothing too, too exciting. Uh, we got some logs, got some money, got some gems, but apart from that, nothing of any real value. But yeah, we'll see what Twilight got and see if she got any better loot than me. Me. Um, of course, she's got less skills, as said in previous episodes, so the rewards should be more in my favour, really. Uh, she didn't receive any rare items in it either, so I'm not sure what's going to happen. But as you can see, we're already on 30k while she's on 9.5. So I don't think it's going to go too much in the wrong way. But we did get a piece of runite ore, which is good, because I don't even have enough mining to mine rune, so it's not too bad. You can see it's 55k to the 27k, and then we're going to put in the uh, runite ore right at the end when she's done putting her stuff in. And it should show you that we made them more money. Yeah, look, 55 to 47, but now we've got 66,000. So yeah, that was interesting. But it's just something to do. I need to, I need to get my mining up to 85 before I want to finish Winter Todd and get 99 fire making. It's going to be a bit of a grind. I then decided, because I wanted to do some Vorkath, that I needed to get the uh, Ornate Pool, or whatever it's called, the purple one. So, back to construction we went. We then got 74 construction. Uh, 75 construction. And at this point, I, when we got to 74, I decided to make the Oak Doors instead. 76 construction there. Uh, nothing really fancy that we need there. Could get the mounted shark when I eventually get it. That's one of the next things to do as well. 77 construction. But, of course, you just do this for to fall the levels. There's no enjoyment out of construction, really. <laughs> 78 construction. Except for building the house up, which I want to do at some point. I want to make it good. 79 construction. Uh, then we got 80 construction. And my demon butler was getting a bit fed up of chasing after stuff for me. But we've got 81 construction. It means one level off being able to do the ornate pool. So that's what we've been waiting for this whole time. There we go, 82 construction. So all we needed now was to use my crystal saw in the bank and also get the plus five boost. So I just made the other pools while I you know, could without the boost. Uh, and as you can see now, all I needed to do was get the boosts. Um, unfortunately, I forgot to actually record making the pool. So here's just a clip of me doing the... Um, Thing. So that's our first kill of Vorkath. As you can see, wasn't the best drop, but the death runes are worth a little bit. But that's the whole point of Vorkath, it's just consistent money rather than brilliant drops unless you get the mega rare stuff. So again, there we go, we got our third kill at Vorkath. 
Another good drop in the Dragon Plate Skirt. That's where the money comes in, especially. And any other Runite dro drops. Uh, and then we got some and fourth kill. They were taking me quite a while at this point because my melee stats aren't the highest. And also, I, was a, I wasn't very good at, at first. I did die quite a few times doing this. Um, and there we go. We got another kill. Can we get anything good? No, we just got some Chaos Runes. But this, at the end of the day, it all adds up. So, can't really complain too much Again, death runes, but we had to use quite a lot of things anyway. And there we go, at kill count 33, we got the first Vorkath head, which is very good because obviously you can make that into the Avas, the, the best version of Avas, so that's what I was going to do with that one. Um, but yeah, I do I do want to get a few heads, because, and there we go, and we get our 50th kill, and there's the second head, because I am thinking of putting that in the house, because uh, Vorkath is one of my favourite bosses. So I'm going to stuff that head and put it on display. <laughs> um, and then we get another Vorkath head at 54kc. So we are doing quite well with those drops, but nothing rare. I decided to do some KBD alongside of this. So there you go, 100k from the first trip of, or from the KBDs. Uh, but uh, your, your supplies are expensive. And then suddenly we actually, on kill count 25, got the KBD head as well. So I'm not sure if maybe I'll use that, because I just quite like killing dragons. Then decided to clear the bank out, so I'm using the 15 brimstone keys that we got. Hoping we can get some mystic pieces for the collection log. I currently only have one, but cannot remember what it is. Um, so yeah, we'll just see what we get. I don't know why I said 15, it looks like there was 30. Or 35, but yeah, as you can see we're getting quite a lot of... It's, it's all good stuff, I think it works out about an average of 100k a key, I think that's what you're meant to get. But... We'll have a look and see what, what the rewards are. Um, got some runite stuff there, so not too bad. The dragon arrow tips are good. Um, got some seeds as well, and the diamonds. I do. I, I collect all of the uh, gems, so I'm always happy with any gems that I get because it just adds to my collection. I'll, um, I'll show off. You could probably see that in the video actually uh, to see how many I've got of each so far. When I do the mining, I'm gonna, and there we go. We actually did get some Mystic Gloves Dusk. Is it a new piece? I will go and have a look in the collection log and see once we've finished opening it all. But I am really, really hoping. Oh, we've got some Snapdragon seeds as well. They're worth quite a bit, so that's a that's a good drop. Some more coins. We've got near enough 300k. In, we've got over 300k in coins. And then some magic seeds as well. God, well, this is some good loot we're getting here. And then some more rubies. And there we go with all the keys that are opened. So we'll go and have a look in the collection log once we've price checked this. There we go, 2.8 mil, so... Yeah, just under 100k per key, but it's not too bad. And of course, it was the piece I already had. <sighs> oh well, well, we'll get another piece. I did decide, to, I wanted to make some money, so I went there to see if it was any good at the uh, Hunter place. We got a Hunter level, but I got so bored, I'm not a big fan of Hunter. Uh, we then got 67 rune crafting at Tears of Guthix, don't forget to do that. And I'm just going to get rid of all of the... Um, all of the log that I've got so far for all the kills, just just to reset it because I'm selling all the loot, so I just want to keep a total of what's in the bank when I um do use it. So we go on the view boss log. As you can see, we killed 42 giant moles during this um this little uh, bank tab that I've made. Got some kills at KBD as well. We got seven kills at Winter Todd. Uh, 60 kills at Vorkath, which is quite good considering I. I was not very good at Vorkath at first. I, it took me a little while to actually get used to it, but once I did, it was fine. And here is the bank tab. As you can see, we've got 100 and something superior dragon bones, 76k worth of coins. Um, yeah. And as you can see, we're just going to do a little price check of the first inventory. Comes out at 2 million. Uh, I'm not really sure where all the loot comes from, to be honest, but it's just it's just lots of different things worth a few hundred K, which is what Vorkath is mainly. That's most of the loot from Vorkath, as you can see. It's the magic logs, the uh, ores, the room, the bars, sorry, and um, obviously all the bones are going to come up soon, so hopefully that should be where the real money is, because we need some money, because the next thing is to try and get some clue scrolls done and get some spaces for that, and there we go, another 7.8 million. Oh, no, minus the rest, so it, was, it is... We've got 7.8 million in total from them all. I will actually not sell the mole equipment. And we're going to actually bring those over to um, the, super, the gardener in Falador. And get those changed into bird's nest instead. Because 
I'm collecting the birds' nests at the moment, and then once I've got to the end of the year, I'm just going to sell them all and see how much we got from it all. Uh, I tried to open it because I couldn't remember how on earth this all worked. So you went to the bank, you meant to go to the bank, and then you you store them in the bank. So as you can see, we've currently got fifty something um, birds' nests of with seeds in, and now we've got 182, for example. But I didn't realise that at first, and then as you can see, we're now up to 226 with the rings in. But yeah, so that's that's what I've mainly been doing. I've just been killing some bosses and then sold all the bank and bought some gear. Went to Crazy Archaeologist, not Crazy, sorry, the Deranged Archaeologist, whatever he's called, over in Fossil Island to do some of those kills for Elite Clues. And as you can see, I finally got the Avas Assembler, which I think looks pretty cool and should be good for us. It's one of the best capes. So now we've got the Fire Cape and that one. So yeah, and we've got the Level 2 um, Wizards Capes. That's good. 73 wood cutting. I just needed to get 75 and all I was doing and doing the lockdown was playing Call of Duty to be honest so I thought I may as well just get 75 as a play and there we go and one final barrage just to finish off the video and nothing again but oh well we will get something one day but yeah thank you very much for watching uh, I hope everyone's doing well during this crisis please like subscribe and peace